Hey guys, this is PL9 back with episode 6, Meet the Mobs. And this is almost done. Let's uh let's see what we can do about a sign. Hmm. Yeah, they won't miss them. <laughs> let's just place this back on our on our gray tombstone here. Rest in peace. Everyone else. <laughs> Oh, once again, we only have three survivors left in the village. I have no idea how many there were originally. And it seems like we lost that ender eye, that ender eye guy, which is kind of a shame, considering I wanted to, uh, wanted to use him to at least activate that end portal, even though you can't find the end portal with him. That would have been pretty useful. So today, we don't really have that much to do. We started our farms. So it looks like we're gonna go exploring mobs. All right, shh. I'm gonna I'm gonna prank Porky when, he, when he's turned around. Oh, whoa! He dunked himself in for me. <laughs> I was planning to push him in. <clears throat> oh, that didn't work out at all. So anyway, the tree saplings that we planted last episode have grown up, and I was wondering what other saplings there were besides just oak and jungle. Or sorry, I gave it away. Oak and dark oak, but thanks, uh, thanks for reminding me that there were also jungle saplings that I didn't think about. So let's chop these things down. First and foremost, let's hopefully get some saplings out of this. And I have a hoe. I don't think I have an axe though. So I'm gonna need to make an axe right now. Good thing too, we're just, just about to run out of wood. I've been like carelessly using my wood to bridge, bridge across mobs, and this couldn't have come at any better time. Oh gosh, I hope I don't lose any of this, these saplings. Let's try off with this spruce sapling first. Nice, that's a lot of wood. So that's our spruce sapling, and this is our birch sapling. And this is the acacia. Let's see, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to extend this platform a little bit first. Just because I'm afraid of the, the saplings just falling off. So anyway, as you can probably tell, I'm actually using a texture pack now. And this is just the faithful 32 by 32 just because I like it, just because um, you can still tell really what everything is, it doesn't change up the game too much, but it still looks nice. So I'll probably be using this, uh, I might take it off if you guys don't like it, but I personally like it, I think it's pretty good. And what can we use? We don't have anything else to, to really extend the platform, so I guess despite saying i just been carelessly using wood, I'm going to use more wood. I guess um, in other housekeeping news, in terms of the episode length, I know that last episode was 25 minutes long, and the first episode I re recorded this series was 13 minutes long. <laughs> so I've just been kind of trying to find a sweet spot of uh, how long episodes, you know, should be. And I know a lot of people do 30 minute episodes, but I personally think that's a bit long. So mine are probably going to be from now on around 18 minutes long. It's kind of a middle spot between the 25 of last episode and the first episode. So yeah, and we already got some birch saplings. Just going to replant them immediately. I really hope I get a spruce sapling back. <gasps> of course it would be right after I say that. Gosh. I even extended out the platform for that. That's a bummer. One of those two better drop something. Oh, but at least we have the acacia back. And at least we have another uh, spruce sapling. I know that. We got two out of the zombie. So that's that's really lucky and convenient. Here we go, spruce. Let's put these away for safekeeping. Probably only going to grow one tree of that nature at a time. There we go. And I'll just see if those drop any other saplings. So 
So yeah, and the farm has been coming up quite well. And since it's the daytime now, I think I'm going to take a bridge over to the skeleton. So let's see, 20, is that enough? I'm going to make another one. Let's actually just clear out some of this inventory. Don't need any of that. Snowballs. I'm just haphazardly putting them away. I'm not sure where they actually belong. And take some food for the road. Excellent. So let's head over to the skeleton. Skeletons might be a really good way to get a um oops. To get arrows in this game, so I'm not gonna destroy that skeleton spawner. Instead, I'm probably just going to oops. I'm probably just gonna light it up really well. So nothing spawns over there. Uh let's bridge off from the nose. I don't think I've been having coal problems, so. And there seems to be coal in a lot of places, like even in the feet of the cow. Actually, I, I, I know that there are there are potentially things inside the feet of the cow, and I haven't been um I haven't been doing I haven't been going that digging down there, so I might do that this episode as well. Let's just collect this iron here. Iron's always helpful. Is this is this void under here? Are you void? Oh, ooh, nice. Lucky catch. Lucky catch. So we got a bunch of iron from this. That'd be pretty useful. I might have enough an abundance to start making iron armor. Oh, and that one is totally safe. So let's just light this up really, really well. <laughs> just have nothing spawn here, but I'm gonna keep it keep the spawner alive for now. I think it'll be pretty important to make a railing off this too. Alright, so the skeleton was pretty good. There looks like there's some cobwebs up there, but I think I got my string for now. Skeleton all set. We can make a skeleton uh, a skeleton farm eventually if we want to harvest some more arrows and bones. And let's put away this iron and let's start taking over to another mob. I'm actually gonna use this wool to bridge uh, quartz I can use quartz to bridge over I'll keep the emeralds around just in case it's iron there's a lot of iron in the other chest uh, my inventory management is terrible <laughs> I should really consolidate these two chests but you know let's just make a bunch of bridging materials I really like these slabs for bridging. Gets a lot of mileage out of the, uh, out of what I have. And the birch grew up already. Let's just chop that down real fast. And one chop. And it's destroyed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we're here on the slime, and it seems like the slime can lead. Oops, sorry. That was a bit scary. It looks like the slime can lead directly to the sheep, so. Might as well just bridge off naturally from there. Alright, and we'll bridge our way over in here. And what is this? Spawners? Sheep spawners? I might go back and make some shears. Hmm. Let's see. What is this? These are all sheep spawners, and this wool can be pretty useful for bridging materials, but other than that, I don't think there's that much of a useful wool. And I'm going... <laughs> I'm just hacking through this colorful fleece, and we can make our way over to the horse if we want to. And, hmm, should we go to the horse? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was about to I was about to crack a really bad nay pun, but then then I realized I just hate myself for it. So I'm not gonna do that. Let's just replant this bridge sapling immediately. 
and collect all the saplings here. Looks like we didn't actually get a spruce sapling from that, so we're only on one spruce sapling left. Hopefully we can get something from the other one. And I'm actually was gonna make shears so I can collect some of that wool so I can use that wool to bridge with since I can want to kind of I still want to preserve my my wood at this point in time I still want to preserve my wood so I'm just gonna shear off all of this wool whoa it's a Jeb sheep <laughs> give me your wool Jeb sheep oh, it looks like once the grass starts spreading then the, the sheep will start spawning so I'm actually just gonna clear out this entire room so I'll see you guys when that's done. Alright, so I cleared out this entire room and the Jeb Sheeps are running amok. We got a pretty decent amount of wool from that. <laughs> I wonder if all of these are Jeb Sheeps. Sheeps. Jeb Sheep. And we got a stack of wool from that. That's pretty good. And I think we will make over a... make our way over to the horse despite missing out on a on a fancy nay pun. I do have the time to horse around in the horse. <laughs> I promise I won't make that many puns. I'm not I'm not very good with puns to begin with. And if we look inside here, there's a zombie villager and a skeleton, so I'm leaving. <laughs> At least I'm gonna make a, a little bit of a railing here. So I won't fall if the skeleton shoots me. Let's see, what do I have to combat a skeleton? Five arrows? Charge! Oh, this is awful. This is not good. Defend me, horse. I'm sorry, horse. Alright, this isn't actually going very well. I expected this to go much better than this. At least I have gold armor. There we go. That that was that was kind of rough. <laughs> oh, my fighting skills. Need a lot of work here. Let's light this place up. I don't want things spawning anymore. <laughs> I have, I must apologize for using you as a meat shield. He's like, look, he's like glaring at me. Look at that. Look at that. He's so angry. <laughs> What does this sign say? I am awesome. You are indeed awesome. That's a good name. I want that horse. I want that horse. I want this guy here. Stop. You can't ride horses. You're a zombie. I don't think even villagers can ride horses. Oh, a diamond helmet. And the Y cord. And I know I got the Z cord already. Let's definitely put that back immediately. I don't want to wear that just yet. I don't want to wear this diamond helmet just yet. I'll probably use it when I do some kind of combat intensive thing. Or when I have the bridges totally secure. <laughs> oh gosh, the, the daredevil sheep. I'm going to push one of these off for sure. I don't want to, but... Are you alive? No. Not alive. <laughs> it's okay, at least there's spawners for that one. The villagers... Oops. Boop. The villagers um, <clears throat> can't quite come back quite as easily. Oh, duh. My inventory's full. That's silly of me. Let's actually just put all this stuff away. Let's put all this stuff away. I'll bring it out again when I'm, when I'm going to continue bridging. I should have made that other bridge out of the other colors of wool. So X, Y, and Z. So that's pretty high up. I know... I'm at about, I'm at y equals, what? I'm at y equals 13? That must be really high. I think we could probably go outside and tell where the end portal is just by looking around. I mean, what else would be that high? All right, let's put this rotten flesh away. Flint, bones, saplings, powered rail. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. Maybe we'll get a bunch of rails that we can, uh, Maybe if we get a bunch of iron, we can make a rail system <laughs> just for fun to get around. Let's see. So we got the horse. And we went into the sheep. And what we haven't done is gone into the pig. 
Yeah, so um, next we'll definitely go into the seeds after I replant the... Or, sorry, go back to the pig. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. So we'll get back into the... Go into the pig after we get the seeds. It's not that hard <laughs> to say these things. Oh, gosh. I need a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, and let's... Let's just go out from the sheep here. With all these this colorful wool. Ah, and once again I mess up and I don't bring all the bridging materials. Enderman? I don't want to be looking at no Enderman. What is this? It's a dinner bone. It's a dinner bone. I don't have anything for you, dinner bone. Jeb and dinner bone. Best of friends. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I guess you guys had a little bit of a falling out. <laughs> Jeb, you can hang out with yourself. I'm sure you can keep yourself company. Oh, and there's a creeper right there. There's a creeper right there. I don't want you to blow up the, the sheepies. Let's see if we can get you to come closer. Yeah, it looks like the more I do this, the closer we'll get. So maybe one more? Let's see if we can knock him off from there. Oh, that 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 totally did not work at all. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Dinner bone, excuse me. Excuse me, dinner bone. Dinner bone, I want to play your game. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> would you? Look at that. Look at all that stuff in the pig. Is this even. Am I gonna die? Alright, let's. We gotta go on some torch patrol right now. That is a lot of mobs. That is a lot of mobs. Oh gosh, let's just light this up and. <laughs> oh gosh, look at all this. We'll just light this up and I have nothing to say. You Half your face is blown in and you're filled with terrible stuff. <laughs> oh man. But I don't think we'll be able to get to these guys in this episode. So, let's just take a look at this. Looking at all of these mobs and Jeb's butt. We'll just have to... <laughs> we'll just have to say we'll get into the sheep or we'll get into the pig in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.